And I tuned in to the game. I didn't realize that it had been going for a while and that we were already in the second period. Um, so I was kind of down because we were down to nothing. So I started getting busy. I started vacuuming, uh, vacuuming, 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 cleaning, doing this, doing that, putting things away. And when I came back to the game, they've got it tied, so I'm hopeful. Also, I read something yesterday that my sister-in-law posted and it made me think. So I reposted it and I hope it makes everyone think about their heart and how they should take care of it and especially the drinking in the morning and before bed. I can't drink directly before bed but I can drink in the evening. I drink a small amount at 9 o'clock or before 9 o'clock. Normally that's what I did. Now what I'm doing is I drink one glass of water in the morning when I get up and I drink one glass of water uh, in the evening when I get home. And I always have this. I drink other things during the day. Oh my goodness. Hello, kitten. Hi, guy. Hi, guy. Yes, he just climbed up my leg. Um, so I do get some liquid, but the morning and the evening liquids is what uh, it, it's apparently important to focus on to avoid heart attacks. So we're doing that. And, um, hey, hey, what are you chasing? Oh, chick, don't do that. Blah! There's a cat after you. Ah! Uh, <laughs> okay, so much for that. Yes, so I hadn't really thought about it again until lunchtime when one of my co workers who's on Facebook with me, um, mentioned it and that she was going to uh, do the same. I said, yeah, yeah, so am I, now that I remember. So, drink water before you go to bed and drink water when you get up because that's really important. Remaining hydrated is important, even if it means you have to get up a number of times during the night. But I hope that when I'm drinking my liquids, it makes a difference. Little Roger, I have to take care of this.